Alright, hello guys, how's it going? In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the upcoming temperature pattern. There's also some potential severe weather as well. We're going to be talking about all those things within this video. Now, for today's comment of the day, I want to know, do you think this final third of March is going to be colder or warmer for your area? Let me know in the comments down below, and I'll be picking one of those for tomorrow's video. Let's get straight into this video, and first things first, we're taking a look at those temperature anomalies, and obviously, I pointed out that there's going to be a big warm-up up there for the eastern United States, and you're probably looking at this and saying, what in the world? Where is it? Because it is very cold. Uh, it's going to be some potential snow back in snow from North Carolina and Virginia. Uh, very frigid throughout the day today for a lot of those areas uh, down there for the southeast today. So let's just take this towards about Saturday, and you can see it's going to be kind of the same story, not very much warmer by Saturday morning. Uh, that will be warming up throughout the day. And then by the time we reach Sunday, that warm-up has pretty much arrived here for the northeastern and the upper Midwest of the United States. The Southeast is a little bit holding on to that cold. They will have some warmer periods here coming up soon. Also notice out West, we've completely flipped from being a little bit warmer than normal all the way to a colder than normal pattern. And I've been teaching you guys about this for about a year now, the PNA. This means we have a negative PNA in place, that colder area of temperatures out West, and then that's pushing the warm out East. And that's what's driving this entire pattern. We'll actually look at that a little bit later on, uh, the actual PNA chart there. For you guys soon now what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna move on and I'm gonna move on towards Monday we're just gonna take a look at how long this big warm-up is gonna last because I think we could have a very nice pattern ahead for many many folks now we're looking at about Monday at about 1 p.m. here and you can see just way above normal there, especially for the upper Midwest, the Ohio Valley, the Great Lakes, and the Northeast here. The darker those reds go, the more above normal temperatures we have. Uh, and even those kind of grayish brown colors there for portions of uh, the Great Lakes, especially there, and then a lot of the northern regions of the Northeast there. Uh, that's where we're at about 16 to let's call it 30 degrees above normal up there. So very far above normal temperatures. Uh, you're, you're going to be just really loving it. Uh, we're talking about 60s and 70s and 80s for many regions, probably 80s the further south you go, obviously. Uh, but nevertheless, just very, very nice pattern we're going to be in. And this is going to be an early spring pattern uh, that we're going to find ourselves in. I'm planning on bringing my plants outdoors uh, during this warm up, uh, at least, you know, briefly still in their containers with the opportunity to still bring it in if I, if I need to. But I think we're going to be in a warm enough pattern for a long enough time where we're going to get into April enough to where it should be safe down here for Virginia. Obviously, if I was in, uh, you know, Vermont, I wouldn't be doing that. But considering I'm in Virginia, uh, I'm going to be doing that. So just to give you guys a reference of what I'm planning on doing based on this stuff. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to move on towards Tuesday and just beyond Wednesday, Thursday. Things could even get a little bit warmer than they are here uh, by Monday. So we're going to watch this pattern play out in just a moment. Now here's what it's going to look like by Tuesday. And you can see it's pretty similar, actually. Uh, we're seeing that southeastern region of the United States warm up just a little bit beyond what they already had. We still have those browns and grays up there for the upper Midwest, the Great Lakes, uh, the Northeast. This is still looking like a very warm pattern that we have up there for the northeastern corner of the United States, especially up there. Uh, I would love to be up there, although I think um, about six degrees above average for Virginia is pretty similar to 16 degrees above average for the Northeast. So we should all be in a pretty similar position here uh, based on what I'm seeing here. Look, out west, the Rockies, I'm going to be watching for some potential snow with how far below normal we're going to be. Obviously, we know that the Rockies see plenty of snowfall, you know, in March, April, even sometimes into May. Uh, so we're going to be watching for some potential bigger snowstorms out there still uh, in the upcoming pattern. Uh, so we're going to be watching out west close for you guys and making sure that there's not going to be any snowstorms. I think based on the temperature pattern that it is going to be very, very possible for sure. Let's just move this towards Wednesday. And actually, uh, speaking of the Rockies and out west, look at New Mexico and Texas by this point. How far below normal those temperatures get. Uh, we're talking 17 to 28 there in those blues that are showing up. And then even in those kind of magenta shades there, 28 to 36 degrees below normal there for New Mexico. So very far below normal temperatures. And then out east, still by Wednesday, we're taking a look at those far below normal, or sorry, above normal temperatures. And even further by this point, especially the further south you go, now Virginia is 10 to 16 degrees above normal. It's going to feel very great there on Wednesday. Um, but 
you can kind of tell that there is some cold making its way in. Now, I want to draw your attention here to the simulated radar because I think there could be two potential severe weather events. We're backtracking a little bit here, but this is about by 3 p.m. on Monday. I'm watching this time frame because there's a low pressure center, very similar location to what we've seen uh, this previous week. And then there's precipitation out in front of it out to the east. So Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas, that could set up in a little bit of a different location. But I am watching Monday for the potential for some severe weather just based on this uh, that I'm seeing here. And that's going to be day four on the Storm Prediction Center. So we will see by tomorrow if they think there could be any severe weather there. Uh, on this date, but based on the location of the low pressure system, I think that there will, you know, at least be a general thunderstorm risk, possibly marginal or more risk of severe weather there, uh, just based on the surface pattern. And then by, uh, this is going to be Wednesday evening here, about maybe 7 or 8 p.m. here on Wednesday, you can see that we have a low pressure center there in between Texas and Louisiana, and then that's some of that uh, precipitation happening out for the Dixie Alley potentially. So we will be watching later in the week also for some severe weather very interesting pattern we have with the potential for more severe weather once again. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to move on and we're going to take a look at the temperature pattern by about 1 p.m. on Thursday. And then we're going to move on towards the weekend. Is it going to stay warm or is it going to cool down? We're going to find out in just a moment. Now, here's by Thursday, and as you can see, 1 p.m., it's still very warm for the eastern seaboard, according to this European model. Far above normal temperatures still for the Ohio Valley in the northeast. You guys are going to be loving it because, again, 60s and 70s could be making their way in to many regions. Obviously, the, co the further north you go, uh, the colder your average temperature is. Therefore, the more above normal temperatures it's going to take to get you to a certain point. So, uh, it would take a lot to get the Adirondacks to 70s at this time of year. Um, but, you know, for southern Pennsylvania, south central Pennsylvania, northern Virginia, it's going to be a lot easier than the Adirondacks to get to that point. I hope that makes sense because this is just compared to what your normal temperature is, your normal high temperature for this time of year is. Out west, we're still dealing with the frigid air. Uh, that looks to be the trend moving forward. Uh, and then by the time of reaching about 1 p.m. on Friday, look at that. Still very far above normal temperatures. And this has moved a little bit further east. Now the eastern seaboard is mostly feeling that. Uh, could be a little bit of a heat wave for North Carolina and Virginia with, you know, the time of year we're taking a look at. We could be talking 80s for the first time, um, maybe even it creeping into the mid 80s here at 16 degrees above normal uh, for some of those regions in North Carolina. So, yeah, it could get pretty warm here uh, out west still. That pattern is so persistent. Look at that. We haven't even really changed what that looks like for the Rockies uh, over the course of about four days. So, yeah, opportunity for snow there for sure. By Saturday, still very far above normal temperatures out east, still very far below normal temperatures out west. Nothing's really changed. We're seeing those warm temperatures still um, just set over the Ohio Valley and the northeast, mid-Atlantic, and southeast there. By the time we're reaching Sunday, same exact story. We're taking a look at a bit of a longer range outlook here. So this is starting to get to the point where you need to take it with a grain of salt. Uh, but we're still taking a look at far above normal temperatures throughout the similar regions. That cold out west, though, look at that. It has kind of started to creep east, and now the west coast is seeing some above normal temperatures. Is that the return of a positive PNA, which would basically mean that those colder temperatures should return out east a little bit after that occurs? Let's just find out. Um, so what we're going to do here is we're going to move on, and we're going to take a look at that PNA chart in just a moment and see if it is going to go positive, in fact. Uh, and then we're going to take a look at the NAO, AO, and then eventually, actually, we're going to take a look at what the uh, Climate Prediction Center thinks for the 6 to 10 day outlook, the 8 to 14, and then our European Ensemble model in five day increments. So a lot of exciting things coming up in just a moment. Now, here's that exciting PNA chart, and this is our Pacific North American Oscillation. And basic, basically, in basic terms, this means... Is it warm or cold in the West compared to normal? That's the that's the basics of it here. So uh, as we see that negative PNA below that uh, very, very uh, bold line there, that means we are seeing colder than normal conditions out West for Canada and the United States. You see it's North America, not just United States of America. Uh, so that usually encourages colder temperatures. Well, it is colder temperatures out West, but it encourages warmer temperatures out East. There's not enough cold typically to go around for the entire United States. So if it's cold out West, that usually means some warmer temperatures will be out East. If that goes positive, you expect warmer temperatures in the West, but also colder temperatures out East. I hope that makes sense. So we're seeing that negative phase and that correlates with our warmer pattern. We're going to see coming up for the East and the colder pattern out West. But uh, that looks on that black line there at the end, you can see for April 1st through 3rd, that looks to go positive potentially 
Uh, and that's our European Ensemble control model taking that positive towards the end. That would potentially mean a colder pattern out east and a warmer pattern out west. We'll be watching for that closely. Also, that North American oscillation, which in a negative phase means cold uh, temperatures in the east. This is in a positive phase for most of our warm-up, but that begins to kind of go neutral and then possibly positive there, or sorry, negative uh, towards the end there after March 30th. So we'll be watching that as well. And it's the same story with that Arctic oscillation. In a positive phase, a lot of that colder air stays up in the Arctic region. So like northern Canada, Greenland, areas like that. But in a negative phase, it starts to really weaken and it allows that cold air to really enter into the United States and other regions around the world. So this does begin to kind of go towards the negative towards the end as well. So for now, we are in a warmer pattern in the east. But there is signals that towards the end of March and towards the beginning of April that might not be the same story. The Climate Prediction Center's 6 to 10 day outlook, and that's going to be Wednesday through Sunday, that features cold for the Rockies, warm for the east, obviously. We just looked at that. And then same story for Friday through Thursday, uh, April 1st. You can see a lot of warmth in the east, still cold in the Rockies. But I think this is when the pattern could be breaking up by that point. The European Ensemble model here in five-day increments. This is Friday through Wednesday. That's going to be the 19th through the 24th. You can see a little bit of cold for the southeast, but generally warmer for the Great Lakes, upper Midwest, Ohio Valley, and the northeast with colder out west. That pattern really sets in for the 24th through the 29th here as we see very cold for the Rockies and then very warm for the eastern United States. So that pattern is only going to get more potent as we move beyond the 24th here, so over the next five days. And then the 29th through the 3rd, this model still thinks that warm will be in the eastern United States, uh, but I don't know how confident it is at this point because those obviously we're not seeing those bright oranges anymore. We're kind of seeing those lighter oranges by this point. So anyway, for my confidence tab, I'm at a 4 out of 6. Obviously, we talked about some longer range things today, so that's kind of the reason why I have a little bit of some lower confidence, but I'm above 50% in my confidence. I do think that at least through the 19th, which is today, through the end of March, we are going to be overall warmer in the east and colder in the west. That seems to be the very uh, dominant pattern, at least for the next 10 days. Anyway, for today's comment of the day, I asked you guys, when do you think our next severe weather event is going to be? And Eric Green said, next week, Monday through Friday, March 22nd through March 26th, possible severe weather outbreak for the south, Texas, Louisiana, and Mississippi, and Alabama, and possible for uh, the central east coast. And look, that's exactly what we took a look at when we took when we looked at those um, the simulated radar there for a moment, I showed you guys those potential severe weather events, and I think that's exactly what Eric Green is referring to. So Eric Green is seeing exactly what I was talking about. Anyway, for today's patron highlight of the day, I want to thank you all for supporting the channel, but especially our platinum patrons, Sebastian Tao, John Ben Benick, James Wade, Dovi Nagel, Alan Belemo, Adam S., Larry LePan, Donna Carnes, Cameron Marshall, and Aiden Mattis. Alongside our diamond patrons, Bill Roberts, Alan Cherry, Marcus Connolly, Noah Harley, Michael Cotalesa, Michael Buell, Catbite, Charles Stinnett, Kellen Manhart, It's Jay, Cindy Klein, Mark J, Luke Falego, Garys, and John Quilisi. If you guys would like to be a part of this patron end screen of the day, do so by joining our very exciting Patreon page in the description and in the pinned comments down below. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Again, be sure to absolutely destroy that like button. Be sure to subscribe if you want more weather-related content, and I will see you guys in the next video.